This is Andy Pirro for Boxing Social, now joined by Gamalia Fogg. Gamalia, how are you doing? Yeah, good, thanks. How are you? Yeah, I'm all good, thanks. You're down here, your first fight, and you come back mm. since the Gavin McDonald fight. How are you finding training camp after the first defeat, and how are you reacting to it now? Good, same old. Um, you know, uh, I messed up that night, didn't perform to my best, but I'm a man, I take it like, you know, I take it like a man. I lost, and I'll be back, and I'll be back on August 4th. Um, get a win there and then I'll be in a good fight here on September the 8th. And when you look back on that uh, Gavin McDonald fight, what, what what would you say to yourself now that you would have done differently then? Tactics, just fought a different fight, how I, you know, how I normally like to fight, being aggressive, um, not trying out a boxing one who's big, tall, dangly, um, but it's a lesson learned and this is what, this is what boxing teaches you, lessons. Uh, before the fight, everybody mentioned that you know your power and how that could work in your favour. Uh, during the fight, though, it just seemed to be that uh, Gavin just kept on working your body, and he was just trying to take the wind out of you. Was that the case? That he just kept on working your body, just yeah. trying? Um, yeah, he did. Yeah, but what was it for me? It was just like I tried out boxing him, where that normally me, and I got to like the second round, and I was fatiguing. So. Um, where normally if I'd been aggressive, how I normally am, I, d I don't really tire. You know what I mean? I don't really, you know, don't don't tire like that anyway. So um, don't know. I don't want to discredit him. I don't, you know, it was a good win for him. Um, maybe it was him. Maybe it was me. I don't know. But you know, we'll find out in the future. Gavin also took on one of your stable mates, Stuart Hall, the other week. You know, what did you make of Stuart's performance in that and that fight and how Gavin done? Uh, yeah. But, but, it was a decent fight to watch, you know, it was a fight. Um good good win for um McDonald. Um but like I say, uh, Stuart's a bit on the slide now, he's, he's I think he's retiring now after this, so um he's old, he's thirty nine, he looked his age. Um but yeah, um McDonald done his job, don't still he's a dangerous fight for anyone, Stuart. And he'd done what he had to do, he got the win. So I'm fair play to him. I'll, hopefully he gets his world to shot and uh, he wins it. Even though you lost, do you feel like that could actually open up more doors for you because you was avoided, uh, especially at domestic level for British title, etc. Do you feel that them opportunities could open now because people will see that defeat on your record? Maybe, maybe, yeah. Um, but we we see, we see. Ho ho hopefully, um, we can get them fights. Um, I still think I'm, you know, European level. Um, because, uh, like I say, Gavin, I, I think even that fight was was for the world level. That so. Um, you know, um, but we see, hopefully, we see what Eddie can offer us and we take it with both hands. So what are you looking at for the show in September 8th? What type of fight is being lined up? You know, 10, 12 rounder, I'd hope, I'm hoping for. Any no. names? Uh, nah, no names thrown at us yet, no, none at all. So what are you looking at, like, what type of level of an opponent? We don't normally get names, we only get one name, so, <laughs> um, yeah. If Whatever name Eddie throws at us, then we take. How good does it be? Does it feel sorry to have? But big, big boxing back in Birmingham again. Oh, very big. Uh, I, lo I love boxing here. You know, my hometown. Um, got a lot of f fans here. Um, I just, it's got to keep growing now. So yeah, the big shows here always helps. How exciting is it for yourself as well to be on Amir's undercard? You know, how big a name he is. Could he be the one who does get Birmingham boxing bouncing again? Maybe yeah. He's got a lot of fans here um, in Birmingham. Um, I hear people always talking about him. So. Yeah, um, maybe so. Um, I do think he's selling out anyway. So he should. He's a, he's a you know, he's an um, Olympic silver medalist, world champion. How many times? Household name. So I'm sure it'd be alright for him to sell 12,000 in Barcard. And uh, how's your brother doing? How's Carl doing? He's still over in America. Yeah, uh, now he's back now. Back. Is he back? When yeah. did he come back? Uh, last m Monday or Tuesday, I think. He keeps it quiet when he goes away. He doesn't like to give give it give he, a lot he away. He stayed in LA, didn't okay. he? After the, after his fight, so he stayed out there. We flew back. So. Are you a little are you a little jealous of him for that extra time that he had? Uh, no, nah, I was gonna stay out, but <laughs> just thought, nah, better go home, man. I gotta get, get training. Yeah, Max wouldn't have allowed that, would he? Yeah, nah, nah, nah. <laughs> I also want to bring up that video of you guys in Desi's when you fell over what, on, the on the treadmill. Yeah, <laughs> it's just backwards. It, backwards. <laughs> it was just Carl's reaction. Look, like, you'd fell over on, on the treadmill, and all you see just Carl turn around to the camera and just start absolutely well, pissing himself. Bloody hell! I fell over loads and on them treadmills. Crazy. 
Is it good though to have that type of banter with your brother and not just take everything too seriously? As like, some siblings might have that rivalry where yeah. they just want to better each other, but no. you guys just have that light-hearted no, banter. I, I think obviously we, we try our best, and we, you know we want to be the you know the bees bollocks. So yeah. yeah, that's the way it is. But it's um, what like I want my brother to be the best he can be. Anyone, Galau, Cal. Any one of my brothers, and if they're not boxing, whatever they're doing, I want them to be the best I can be, um, and that's what they're doing. So whether whether if I'm not doing the best, you know, so well, you have your ups and downs in, in life. I've seen Cal being that rock in boxing, you know, rock bottom. I've seen seen Galau the same, and I've been at high. You know, it's just the way it is. You it's low. You have your highs, you have your lows, um, and you just got to stick. I have I believe in myself, believe in my brothers, that. Um, on their day, that they will reach the top, and they're, they're doing it now. So, you know, I've got, I've got to keep on. We've, we've just got to keep on pushing them, pushing each other, and that's what we do. Well, Kamal, I know you got to shoot because you got to go and do like a 10-mile run now as a punishment. But thanks. Thanks, man. Cheers. Cheers.